we've questioned whether or not this protocol is essential by experimenting to see if we get the same results whether or not we use the protocol. So let me demonstrate for you. If I look at Jocelyn's shoulder, just by palpation, I can feel that her posterior deltoid is rather dense. So I'm going to test her posterior deltoid, hold your elbow down, and it's nice and strong. If I test a reciprocal muscle, let's say pec clavicular, pull across towards your shoulder for me, pec clavicular is weak. Now, when I fire these muscles in alternation with each other, it gives her neurologic system an experience of failure that's a learning opportunity. So it's lighting up a muscular pattern in her brain to be corrected. Now I'm standing here chatting at you and giving her system a chance to forget that we ever did that. So that pattern stays lit up for about 60 seconds. And if we take the time to let her system forget that we did any muscle testing before we do a muscle release to correct it, we'll see whether or not this pattern corrects. So we're asking, is it necessary that I do ABA testing and that I get a failed muscle test before doing a muscle release? So let's go in, I'm gonna release the posterior deltoid. So presumably her body has forgotten at this point any testing that was done. I'm going to do a little bit of release on posterior deltoid. It's feeling pretty stringy. And I'm going to come and retest pec clavicular, match my pressure, which is still weak. So her body didn't correct this pattern. Now let's test ABA and then do our release. Hold down to the floor, nice and strong, posterior deltoid. Pull across here, pec clavicular is off. I'm going to go right into doing my release. Now that I've prepared her neurological system to learn Yada. this correction. Ouch, and it's tender in there. Ah. Okay. So a little bit of release, doesn't have to be much. Just enough to inhibit the muscle, hold down for me. Now posterior deltoid is off. Pull across for me. And we've got a nice strong pec clavicular. Again, I want to do a challenge round where I fire them in ABA sequence one more time to make sure that the correction held. Hold down, beautiful. Pull across, good. And now I can do this all day. Hold down, pull across, so Jocelyn can do all of her kayaking and body work without having inhibition in either muscle. All right, that's all we've got for you today. Go ahead and try out ABA muscle testing protocol on your clients.